Hi, in this video series on how to build a new YouTube channel using mainly AI tools, we will cover how to make a YouTube logo and banner without Photoshop. I've been some digital man Institute, and let's get started. So to do a quick recap of what we covered in part one and two, I showed you how to choose a niche and validate it. In part three, I showed you how to use an AI tool to help create a unique business name. And in this part four, I will show you how to create channel assets such as a logo like this and banner art like this using Canva. All right, let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go into Canva and you want to uh, sign in. Now you can go ahead and use pro or free. It doesn't really matter, but the first asset you'll need is probably a logo. So you simply go into the search bar. The easiest way I found is to go in the search bar, type in logo, right? and then select the first option. Right? Wait for it to look. And then you'll see a whole bunch of different designs. I guess you can see they're quite nice. Right? And you can go you know, filter on the left-hand side based on color preference if you like. So if I like yellow, I can type in the yellow color preference and show me all the different yellow themed icons that they have and there's quite a lot and then if you want to choose it based on style you can go minimalist okay you can either further filter down the let me click that out modern and then all you simply have to do is once you found the logo that suits your need you simply click on it let's say and then i go ahead and edit it and customize it to however I like it. So for whoever, uh, maybe I like this one. Okay. I'll pick this one. So then you just type in the business name that you have generated using the AI tool in the previous part. So in this case, I'm just going to keep it, uh, all right. And from there, all, all you have to do is click on share and download and you'll, you'll have the, you have your logo generated. It's as easy as that. Now, in order to generate your banner art, you simply go ahead and on uh, the main tool and you just click, you type in banner. Or you, oh, let me go back home. Okay. So I just click on YouTube banner and they'll have a whole wider range of different styles for you to choose from. And just like the logo, you can go ahead and, all right, and you can select. Simple. Maybe. Okay. And whatever you, you decide to pick, you go ahead and click on it and you might. Now, the one thing you do want to be aware of is you want to go ahead and what I recommend you, since the, lo the banner art is a little bit more trickier than the logo, you need to download this, right? So you go to share, you go ahead and download. And then we'll load this um, banner image onto your your channel because it will then uh, project what part of your banner will show using what device. So as you can see here, for a computer or PC or TV, this whole the full length will show. And then if it's for a mobile device, only a part of it will show. So you have to preview it and play around back and forth in order to see that and to ensure that you are uh, right on all devices. It will take you some time, okay? but don't worry about it. It's, you know, it's worth it. You should go ahead and, and, you know, get it done properly so that it, it can be viewed on all devices. Now, I don't want you to overthink this and I, I, I want you to, I want this to be put into perspective. It's important to have a, uh, a channel art or logo, but it's not that important. And the reason why is because the simple thing is no one really knows and everything I've said is is what I've used this this logo right here came from Canva it also came from Canva so you know I, I'm showing you everything I used and accessible uh, for my small channel so there's no there's no you know there's nothing that uh you need to practice what I so the logo it's it's pretty you know simple right <laughs> and the banner is very simple, but you know what? It, it works. I still am able to get monetized. And the simple fact of the matter is you, you don't want to blow money on unnecessarily unnecessary things. 
um, your logo is not really that important. And once you, once you start making money and, and it, when it does become maybe more important, you have the money to go ahead and change it later. But for now, you know, when you're starting off a basic logo, that's free with Canva is fine. And I just want to stress that home because a lot of people, they spend way too much on their logo and their banner, and that's not really where your money should be spent. In fact, it should be run on tools. Uh, content creation tools, especially if I, if I had to say it would be AI content creation tools to help you streamline your workflow. So that's what this whole series is about. It's to use AI tools to make sure your workflow is as efficient as possible and as cost effective as possible. Cause I don't, I don't want you to be buying junk. There's a lot of people, um, you know, telling you to, to buy their software, to buy a thumbnail creator. And it, it's a lot of, you know, static out there, a lot of information that may or may not work for small channels. So I just want to make it clear, clearly air and show you what exactly work and what AI tools I use specifically to create a small channel using mostly AI. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm